The way that iPhones and social media have affected language is a good thing in some ways because what it means is that instead of there being this bright line between the casualness and the warmth of spoken language and then the coldness and the formality of written language, there's a way of writing now where you can be as casual and warm and direct as you used to usually only be able to do when you were talking. And so that's a good thing in many ways because talking is limited. You can only yell so loud and you can't always be on the phone even if it's a cell phone. But with texting, you can in a way talk to anybody you know or anybody in the world practically in real time. On the other hand, the truth is that the ubiquity of social media is such at this point that it's very hard not to focus more on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Buzzfeed, quick little things that are sent out by various sites, including Slate and Salon and good ones, but taking in all of your information in bits instead of also doing the more extended reading. And you don't want to be idealistic about it. It's not that before 10 years ago, everybody was sitting around reading only the Wall Street Journal and plowing their way through full-length books. But I think that today, it's almost alarming how you can spend all of your time only reading in bits. And I think, as we all know, bits only tell you part of what life is, and bits can't really give you the extended arc of an argument. So I think social media is wonderful. I think that it enriches what it is to be uh, an English-speaking American, or in general, just a Westerner who uses language. And really, texting is becoming something that people use all over the world. 